three, two, one. Lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift Curiosity is something we cannot take away from humans. So are you curious to know what the space telescope observing at the furthest edges of the mysterious universe is? Well, guess what? The world's largest space telescope is all set to wow us. There are no limits to the human spirit. I thought I would see the end of physics, but now I think the wonder of discovery will continue long after I am gone. Yeah, the James Webb Space Telescope seems a hundred times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. It will be transforming our perception of the cosmos. Humans have constantly questioned what lies beyond the edge of the cosmos for centuries. Of course, we understand that knowledge is complex, but that is no longer the case. The James Webb Space Observatory, JWST, the world's most extensive, most costly, most complicated space telescope, has launched into orbit and is on its way to its ultimate destination. Keep watching till the climax of the video to know the terrifying discovery at the universe's edge. For the hundreds of scientists, technicians, engineers, and support workers who work to bring the $10 billion telescope to this point, the release on Christmas Day 2021 was both exhilarating and scary. You can visualize the launch here. After all, JWST's scientific capability is vast, and it can solve some of the universe's most pressing problems. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, a new tool in space, is set to make incredible discoveries. Although NASA has launched space observatories, none have been as powerful as the James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists who have long sought to investigate the universe's edge must have the most powerful tool available to them. What will a telescope view at the universe's edge? Will it be able to see the universe's edge? At the edge of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope is changing everything. According to NASA, the JWST is so acute to infrared light that it could identify even a bumblebee's modest heat from the moon's distance. Also, this telescope has provided us with an incredible view of the universe for almost three decades. The JWST is designed to snap baby photographs of the universe without any limitations. The JWST will collect light traveling across space for up to 13.8 billion years, allowing us to see the universe for hundreds of millions of years. So what is it about the Webb Telescope that makes it so powerful? Maybe it's the 6.4 meter diameter primary mirror that's a part of it. It is made up of 18 smaller parts that must be precisely aligned. In addition, 24 karat gold, which weighs less than 2 ounces, reflects infrared light superior to other metals. Infrared is just beyond what humans can perceive in the visible spectrum. The mirrors are constructed of beryllium rather than pure gold. The Webb telescope must be kept cold to perform correctly. When Webb launched on Christmas Day, the process was folded up, but the shield's weak layers were proven effective less than two weeks later. The sun's enormous heat would surpass the telescope sensors if it weren't for the shield. Well, thank God for the sun shield. Webb has sun protection factor of one million. However, one thing that does worry scientists about the Webb Telescope is that it won't correct any problems during the launch and operation. The Webb Telescope, which is over a million miles away, is considerably further away. In addition, it is well beyond the repair capabilities of space-walking astronauts. So as a result, NASA has one shot at getting it right. If the right technology is created, scientists may send a robot to refuel Webb in the future, prolonging its life. When it comes to fuel, NASA initially estimated that the telescope would last only 10 years, but thanks to a successful launch, there is enough fuel left to keep the JWST running for another 20 years. For the time being, scientists are waiting for Webb's first photographs, which are expected in 2022 of the summer. After that, the JWST will assist in investigating the nature of dark energy in the universe. Do you have any ideas on what will astronomers find when they use the JWST to glimpse into the edge of the universe? As told earlier, humans have always been curious about the world around them. 
Yet traveling throughout the universe involves traveling across space, traveling through time. If you do the math, the distant light travels in a year is a lot. So we're talking about 28 gigaparsecs or 93 billion light years, or 879,780 times 10 raised to the power of 18 kilometers, which is unfathomably large. When all humans on Earth's DNA is stretched together, it will be roughly 0.119 billion light years long. So if an item generated shortly after the Big Bang traveled at the speed of light, it should have gone a maximum of 13.7 billion light years by now. Nothing more, nothing less. So where did all the matter beyond this point come from? This is when Hubble's law comes into play. According to the law, things detected in distant space are redshifted. The term redshift means a change in the light's wavelength from blue to the red end of the spectrum or an increase in wavelength. The wavelength lengthens since the universe is growing, so not only are objects moving apart from one another, but the fabric of space is also growing. Dark energy and dark matter seem to have a significant role in this behavior. As a result, while calculating the breadth of the universe, extra distance owing to space expansion must be included, which is why the universe's edge is not 13 billion light years away from Earth. It's said to be far higher than that. One thing to keep in mind is that particular objects in the universe may never be seen. For example, the Earth is around 16 billion light years away from the universe's current cosmic event horizon. Are we close to our destination? No, not at this time. If light started at the distance today, this is the furthest it could ever go to reach us. It means that the expansion of space is faster than the speed of light beyond 16 billion light years. Therefore, the light will never get to us since it would travel across increasing space. It also means that any event that occurs beyond the cosmic event horizon today will not be visible to us no matter what. But thanks to telescopes like the JWST, we can see far beyond. The GNZ11 galaxy, around 32 billion light years away from Earth, is the most distant galaxy yet discovered. We approach the surface of last scattering approximately 46 billion light years from Earth. After recombination and photon decoupling, the surface of the last scattering looks like a homogeneous sphere of fog. From the first ever photons of cosmic microwave background, radiation emerged. Now, despite the name, it is the genesis of the very first dispersion, but the last of what we can perceive. From a technical standpoint, we can sense the furthest point in space and time. It is effectively the rim of the pond. It is the boundary between what we can see and imagine. So let us now travel even further beyond the visible universe's limit. What could exist there? We've only ever looked at what lived at a specific location in space in the distant past. What may exist there right now is a more inconceivable question. The particle horizon, or the farthest distance one can view into the past, is located at the frontier of the visible universe. Everything we've seen thus far has been done so with Earth at the center and the time scaled backward with distance. It raises the question of whether the universe is limitless. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, a flat world must be endless. Can we thus infer that the universe has no beginning or end? It is not an easy task. Scientists haven't been able to ascertain whether the universe is infinite or not yet. Let us know what you think about the universe's edge in the comments below. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who are as curious as you are. Finally, if this is something you'd want to hear about regularly, hit that subscribe button. It'll help our channel out a lot. And that is it for today's video. However, hit that bell symbol to get alerted when the next one is released. And we will talk again shortly.